go to the moon and lift the cane and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Apollo Saturn launch control, T-minus five minutes and counting. T-minus five, that swing arm number nine, it will now be coming back to its fully retracted position at the pad. Mark, the swing arm now moving back from the spacecraft as planned at the five minute mark in the count. Just before coming up on the swing arm removal, we went through our final status checks and received a loud and strong go from the mission director, Chet Lee, launch operations manager, Paul Donnelly, and launch director, Walt Caprian, responding to the request from the test supervisor. The lights now will be coming on on the abort panels of astronaut Pete Conrad. These are his cue lights for the five engines in the first stage. These five lights remain on. When we get proper thrust for liftoff, the lights go out informing the spacecraft commander that he has good thrust beneath them. We're coming up now on the four minute mark. Pete Conrad reports his lights are on. Spacecraft test conductor Skip Chauvin has said, have a good trip, Pete. Pete reported back, uh, we appreciate everything everyone has done. Four minutes and counting, still proceeding at this time. We'll be coming up on our automatic sequence at three minutes and 10 seconds in the countdown. We're going through our final astro launch checks at this time as the countdown continues. During these checks just now, the launch operations manager, Paul Donnelly, said to Pete Conrad, the launch team wishes you good luck. May the wind be always behind you. Pete Conrad said, thank you very much. Count still continuing. Final checks of the guidance and navigation system going on now. Pete Conrad reporting back on their status. We'll be coming up on the automatic sequence in about 10 seconds. From that time on down, we're completely automatic leading up to 8.9, the 8.9 second mark in the count when we get the ignition sequence. Mark, firing command. Launch sequence start, we have the firing command, we're on automatic sequence. T minus three minutes and counting, T minus three. Once the automatic sequence began, we begin pressurizing those big fuel and oxidizer tanks, the overall propellant tanks, in the three stages of the Saturn V launch vehicle. This will lead us up to 8.9 seconds when the engine ignition sequence begins. The five engines in the first stage will ignite, building up 7.6 million pounds thrust total. This should occur at the zero mark in the count. We will get verification through the computer that we have proper th thrust. The hold down arms will release and will be off with Apollo 12. Two minutes, 20 seconds, and counting at this time. Two minutes, 10 seconds at this time. We see that the stages are now beginning to pressurize as our countdown proceeds. Coming up on the two minute mark in the count. T minus two minutes and counting, T minus two. Spacecraft commander now has placed the, the environmental control system of the spacecraft on internal. Up to this time, we've been providing external sources for the environmental control system. We've, we're checking the hydraulics of the first stage of the launch vehicle now. We are still go. One minute, 40 seconds, and counting at this time. T minus 90 seconds and counting, T minus 90, still go. Our status board here in firing room two indicates all is still well with the countdown. Third stage tanks now pressurized as the automatic sequence continues. 
One minute, 15 seconds and counting. Captain okay. Alan Bean has just brought the entry batteries on the main power source in the spacecraft. We've conserved those batteries up to this time. We're coming up on 60 seconds. Mark, T minus 60 seconds and counting, T minus 60. Alan Bean running up the volume on his VHF. 50 seconds and counting. 50. We've now gone internal power with the launch vehicle. We're on the internal batteries in the three stages of the Saturn V. T minus 40 seconds and counting. The spacecraft commander now performing his final function, pressing a button to align the guidance and control system of the spacecraft. Coming up on 30. Mark, T minus 30 seconds and counting. T minus 30. 25 seconds and counting. We're still proceeding. T minus 20. 17 seconds. Swing arm back. We have guidance in general. 10, 9, 8, ignition sequence start, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, all engines running, commit, liftoff, we have liftoff, 11.22 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Pete Conrad reports the York program is in. Tower clear. We got a picture of the roll program and this baby is really going. Pete. Pete Conrad reporting the roll and pitch program to put Apollo 12 on the proper course. Altitude at one half mile. Roll complete. Roger, Pete. Clock's in sync, flight. 40 seconds. Mark one Bravo. Altitude a mile and a half now. Velocity 1,592 feet per second. Good, right on. got your GDC. Okay, we just lost the platform, gang. I don't know what happened here. We had everything in the world drop out. Roger. Plus one. Fuel bill, length and AC bus, light of fuel bill, disconnect, AC bus, overload, one and two, main bus, AC out. That's it, how's it looking, Ecom? Ecom, what do you see? Mighty Com, try FCE to off. Say again, FCE to off. Off. Oh. FCE to off. I'm going to watch. FCE to off, Capcom. What channel? Apollo 12, Houston, try SCE to auxiliary, over. NCE auxiliary. SCE, SCE to auxiliary. What panel, Aco? We got it back, boy. Looks good. Okay. Ecom reports the readings okay, back. Go down by one, Charlie. Roger. Mark one, Mark Charlie. one Charlie. Staging status. Victor, one Charlie. Charlie. Flight Director Jerry Griffin taking a staging status now. Apollo 12 down range, range 17 miles. Altitude 20 miles. Apollo 12 Houston, try to reset your fuel cells now. Inboard engine out on schedule. Okay, he's working. Altitude 33 miles, downrange 45 miles. Okay. Stay good, like. Stay good, S2, gang. Roger, we copy, Pete. You're looking good. Good staging and good thrust on the second stage. Three now, there are problems here. I don't know what happened. Uh, I'm not sure we can get hit by lightning. Thrust is going fine. Roger. Your thrust is looking good, Pete. Okay, I have a good GDC, and Al has got the fuel cells back on, and we'll be working on our AC buses. Right, Pete, your uh, fuel cells look good down here. I think we need to do a little more all-weather testing. Amen. Close the tower, gang. That's a way clean. Good show, Pete. You're in mode two. Launch escape tower has been jettisoned on schedule. We're go, flight. And we confirm the engine skirt separation also. Downrange 122 miles, altitude 61 miles, velocity 
10,000 feet per second. Okay, uh, we've got uh, an ISS light on and we've got a cycling CO2 partial pressure high, which I don't bother me particularly, and we have reset all the fuel cells, we have all the buses back on the line, and we'll just square up the platform when we get into orbit. Roger, Pete. That sounds good. I'm looking good here. Hey, that's one of the better sims, believe me. We've had a couple of cardiac arrests down here too, Pete. There wasn't any time for that up here. Uh, negative flight. There's nothing to do with that. But we've got a good, uh, clock running here, and, uh, correct me, I'm going to give you a mark at 4 plus 30. I've lost my event timer. And, um, mark, 4 plus 30. Looks good, Pete. Okay, we're all organized again, Jay. Okay. You don't think we've lost now, if you're all set up. Number one ball just drifted all over the place, and I'll have to catch it later. Roger, Dick. Roger. Flight guys. Come on, Tampa, Jay, you guys think about how we're going to get that thing, because it's just drifted. Okay, we're thinking. Capcom flight, go. Since we don't have the platform, we won't make an S4B to COI call, and uh, any mode 4 would be on the uh, backup. The trajectory is right down the lines on the plot okay. board. Altitude is 85 miles now. Houston, we won't be sending you an S4B to COI call. Okay, understand, and uh, can you give us some good words like, uh, let's uh, uh, get that... Risky. I mean, the IMU calm down is rolling all over the place. Okay, Pete, uh, and if you do a mode 4, it'll be on the backup. Yeah, no, so I got a good uh, SES. Okay, good show. Yeah, please, you want to do I got that? a little uh, vibration of some kind. Uh, she's checking along here, minding her own business, though. Okay, Pete. Could that just be his FDAI? I think it is the platform we're leaving out here. Velocity is 13,500 feet per second now, altitude 92 miles, all of 12 downrange 345 miles. Roger 12. Go fight. Capcom level sense arm 8 plus 3, 7, cut off 9 plus 1, 1. Okay. Apollo 12, Houston, level sense arm 8 plus 3, 7, cut off 9 plus 1, 1. Okay, here come the gimbal motor. The level sense arm initiates the staging sequence. That will be at 8 minutes, 37 seconds. We're at 625 now. Stand by S4B to orbit. Roger. Flight economy, hold on. Roger. Mark, S4B to orbit. Mark, S4B to orbit. S4B to orbit. The S4B now has the capability to put the Apollo 12 spacecraft into orbit should uh, something happen to the second Same stage. Why do you want to do the platform now? We'll give you an answer to the second flight. Let's hurry. Tell him how good his audio is doing. That might make him feel better. Yeah, tell him he's right on the trajectory. No problem there. Apollo 12, Houston, you're right smack dab on the trajectory. Your IU is doing a beautiful job. Okay, uh, we're all chuckling up here over the lights. We all said there were so many on we couldn't read them. Yeah, Downrange 557 okay, miles now. 12 Houston, uh, give us Omni Delta. Roger, on Omni Delta. Altitude 100 miles. Velocity 18,417 feet per second. Center engine. Center engine out on schedule. I have new power to stand by and into on. You expect that will stop it? Well, it should start the 90 second cage cycle. Okay, Capcom, I am your power to stand by then to on. Apollo 12, Houston, uh, we can start getting that platform squared away. Uh, go, IMU power, stand by and then back to on. We'll get her caged up. Staging status booster. Go, we just had the UCF flight. Looks good. Roger. Uh, we'll wait till we get through we staging here, I think, Houston. Okay, as soon as you can reach it, that's the way to go. Capcom, we'll go for staging. Apollo 12, Houston, go for staging. Right here, we'll go for staging. Flight throttle. Go. One more time, mode 4 call. Okay, you right. want the LMP to turn off the GNN power and then bring it back on, and you want me to use my IMU cage, which is that right? 
Stand by. Stand by on that beat. What you want, GNC? I couldn't copy the flight. He asked if you wanted the LMP to, to pull the power completely off and back on if you want him to. The second it. stage engine the shut down is predicted for 9 minutes 11 seconds. We're at 9 minutes now. Okay, let's get him after stage. Did I read that S, uh, S4 or O4 is going to be late? Got a good S4B, nice smooth staging. Thrust okay. Roger, Peach, your thrust looks good. Okay, give us more words on the IMU now. Okay, Capcom, stand by. Looks like we, if he can't get that switch, until we Velocity is 23,000 feet per second. Uh, can Downrange, 967 miles. Altitude, 102 miles. About, stand by a minute, Pete, we're still talking. Okay. Good around. trajectory, good thrust. Okay, but what is that? Stand by mode four. Mark, mode four. Mark, mode four. Mark, mode four. Mark, mode four. Roger, mode four. Mode 4, Apollo 12 could get into orbit now using the service propulsion system. How about a course of line? Can we feed something into the disky? African overflight. GNC? Downrange 1156 miles. Velocity 24,157 feet per second. Altitude 103 miles. Going through the disky? Flight, can they reach panel five circuit button? Should be able to. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, it's a first class ride, Houston. Kind of a rough start. Yeah. You got to really just shut off the flight. Shut off 11 plus 35. 11 plus 35. Estimating cutoff at 11 five. minutes 35 seconds. 1-1 one, one plus 3-5. 1-1 plus 3-5, roger, roger. Flight, the MC, go. They should be able to pull the main A main B circuit breakers on panel five. Okay. Cleared Africa. Shut down one plus three three, Houston. Roger. Shut off, Flight final looks good. Roger. Flight dynamics report, it looks like a good Showing velocity 25,561 feet per second. You want to pull those? Downrange 1,450 miles. Flight, you really want to do that? We're almost to a point. Flight Fido, we're go, we're now. Fido says we're go. They're, they're probably going to be a little while getting to it, though, while they're cleaning up the cockpit. Yeah, let's go ahead, let's go ahead and have you pull those circuit breakers. Apollo 12, Houston. Uh, before you get uh, down there to work on that uh, switch, uh, try pulling on panel five, your IMU main A and main B breakers. Flight, flight, uh, flight. Your S4B is safe now, stand by. You gotta go orbit. You gotta go orbit, you're looking good. What do you want him to do next? That's Capcom Jerry Carr talking to Pete Conrad. Stand by, he's going to have to Pete go through the lineman here. GNC flight. GNC. When he gets around to alignment, he's going to put those circuit breakers back in and cycle what? Cycle that power switch to leave it The backup right. crew commander, right. Dave Scott, is also at the Capcom console here. Okay, we can get that over Canary. Flight booster, go. Saturn can see its orbit, we'll go. Roger. Capcom telling us. S4B looks good, can see its orbit. Flight side up, okay. 12 Houston, Flight your S4B is looking good, you're configured for orbit. 025 by 100. Roger, Houston. Capcom, my orbit 102.5 by 100. Roger, 12, your orbit is 102.5 by 100. Okay, 
Okay, Capcom, tell them we'd like to leave those circuit breakers out at least uh, three minutes. Uh, Houston, be advised that I am resetting on the stabilization and control system logic bus A3-4 breaker, which was out for some reason. Uh, Roger, Pete, uh, we copy. Also on your IMU main A and B breakers, uh, let's leave them out for at least three minutes. Okay, and then what do you want us to do? Reset them and come up with a P-51 while we get in the darkness? That's probably right. So that looks like the right plan, Pete. Uh, we're still talking. We'll give you a final on it. Okay, we got hit by lightning. We don't have any good telemetry, so we can't tell yet. We haven't saved it and gotten it in yet. We, we're getting Euphrates, Westmath, could be? Well, we don't Matt. know yet. We're trying to find out. We don't okay. know what it has one. Okay. Well, Houston, we're about 45 seconds from LOS. We'll pick you up, Canaries, at about 1-6. We're getting one to get one. Roger, Roger. We choose to go to the moon and this decay and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. One small step for man.